Guys, we just got our first official trailer for season six, and it gives us so much info on what is gonna happen. Now, before we get into it, guys, if you are hoping for, I don't know, a week off of school for season six, since it does start on a Tuesday, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, but be fast before it starts. But yes, guys, we have got so much info to go over in today's video, dissecting this brand new trailer, teaser, whatever you wanna call it. It features Agent Jonesy, features info on season six, even some skins, and we're gonna cover all the secrets. Now, as for the challenge with the comments on last video, the skin was Skull Trooper, so I left hearts on a bunch of the comments that got it right, and this time around, let's do this skin right here. So if you know the name of this skin, leave a comment down below, and I will leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get it right. On top of that, be sure to use code SIRS in the item shop, and let me know down below in the comments if you use that, and I will leave hearts on a bunch of those as well. Oh no, so over 80% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed, which is crazy. If that's one of you, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos coming out super soon. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it here. Now guys, let's jump into the first official trailer for season six, because there is so much to go over here. Not only are there a ton of pictures and hidden clues to dissect, Agent Jonesy himself talks a bunch throughout it. And again, this was officially posted by Fortnite on their social media accounts like I saw it on Twitter. So let's just first of all go ahead and play the audio for you. Reality log doesn't even matter. What's the point of recording these logs if you're not going to listen? We've lost control of the zero point. Do, do you get what that means? You must not because you're doing nothing. I've dedicated my life to the order. I've given everything. And for what? To just sit back and watch reality end? That's not who we are. At least it's not who I am. Not anymore. So yes, guys, there is so much going on in that audio that we just have to go over. Agent Jonesy is not a fan of what is happening. So yeah, first things first, we'll go over the audio, then we'll go over the visuals that pop up with it and dissect each one of those because it does show like some Battle Pass skins. But there's a few things with what Jonesy is saying that I want to take note of. The first of which is how he mentions the zero point. He says that they have lost control of the zero point, which is very intriguing because as we know and as we've talked about in the past, the zero point has been continually destabilizing over the course of the season. We saw it switch over from the usual zero point and then in the recent 15.50 update, it all of a sudden became even more destabilized in like breaking and things like that, even leading to the point where we see an occasional huge pulse of energy emanating from the zero point around every five to 10 minutes in our matches. On top of that, you've got all of the baby waves that we talked about. And then if you talk to the NPCs around it, they're like, like, has that thing always been so unstable? And now we have Jonesy acknowledging that the Order has lost control of the Zero Point, which means that some crazy things are going to be happening in Season 6 when it officially breaks. Now, talking about what could be happening in Season 6, as we heard Agent Jonesy say, reality is close to ending, and he's not going to sit back and watch it. Now, again, that could mean a lot of different things. It could mean an even crazier Season 6 with portals and things like that showing up around the map. The Zero Point officially, you know, breaking and things, which could lead to crossovers of different realities and a completely different season six map that we've never even thought of. But there's another thing to take note of in that trailer as well, and that is how Jonesy refers to the order. Now, as a reminder, when he says order, he's talking about the imagined order, which is that symbol that we've seen all around the map. If you go to those underground areas, all of those offices are the imagined order type places. I think they were called the surface hubs inside of the channel which is intriguing that they are called that. Actually, yeah, that's really intriguing now that I think about it, because why would they mention surface unless they are coming from underground, which we do know they're coming from underground because the IO guards also come from underground when they show up on the map. They arrive through an elevator, and if we go into those surface hubs, we also find elevators, which they haven't really talked about. So again, the imagined order is coming from like underground, and Jonesy is not happy with them. So he's turning against them. Maybe he's unhappy with how the IO guards are just fighting every character on the map, they're not really doing much. On top of that, we also have seen lines in certain challenges from, I think, uh, what was that one skin? Lexa, I'm pretty sure. She had said lines like, nope, I don't trust them one bit. These people are causing a lot of trouble. Think we can take them on? In reference to IO guards. Not only that, she also had lines that said, what if Jones is just trying to keep everyone busy with these quests? After these quests are done, I want to find Jones. He owes me answers. She also goes on to say, completing quests 
requests to cause chaos got a nice ring to it. That Jonesy guy said he just wanted us to cause chaos. I guess this counts. Which goes a little bit against, you know, what Agent Jonesy is doing. Maybe it's a different Agent Jonesy or something like that. I don't know. Thanks to Bunker Jonesy on the map, we know that there are a lot of different snapshots of Agent Jonesy. Like, for example, Scuba Jonesy, again, Bunker Jonesy, and all of the other ones we've seen in the skins and stuff. So it could be possible that there's an evil snapshot of Agent Jonesy going around the map as well. But yeah, guys, with all of that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the images that show up within this little video because there's so much to go over. First things first, let's just dissect this part right here because it switches around with the different parts like a lot. Now, the first thing that you will probably notice is in the top left, what looks like a wolf's mouth. Now, obviously, this makes me think of Dyer, so I decided to look up Dyer once more and specifically look really close to see if this is a new character or just Dyer for some reason. And I think it is a new character. As you can see with Dyer, he has these really large fangs that go over his mouth, whereas this character, I'm pretty sure, does not have those fangs. They're all the same size, whereas Dyer, again, has those couple of longer ones. Also, the nose looks a little bit different. It's a lot more pronounced on Dyer, whereas in this image, it's a lot sharper. So I'm expecting that this could be a brand new wolf-themed skin. You've also got, like, this eye next to it, which I think could possibly be the eye of that skin. I'm not actually, you know what? I think this is a different one, considering that there's a set of images here that seem to go together. So yeah, this is a separate skin, but it's interesting that we get to see this number 10, especially this part right here where you see like the shoulder and chest of the skin and that number 10 is right there. There's also these symbols on the right, which I am not really sure what those are, but altogether, this kind of reminds me of the seven. I don't know why, but they've been talking about the seven since the very beginning of season five, where in the trailer, the lady that Agent Jonesy is talking to says to not draw the attention of the seven. And with all of the events happening, how can we not draw the attention of the seven? I mean, they've been hinting at it this entire season. I think that's going to be a large part of season six. So maybe we wrap around back to that. But I do think that this skin is like the fourth member of the seven. So that'll be really intriguing. On top of that, you also have this image right here, which is like a pattern, but it clearly resembles an arm with a hand that has a bunch of claws. Now, whether or not that's connected to the skin we were just talking about, I'm not 100% sure, but it does seem very similar. Like I could see it connecting to that, or it could be a brand new skin, but honestly, we can't tell too much from that one. On top of that, in the bottom left, we see Agent Jonesy or what appears to be Agent Jonesy, but we don't really know where he is. I can't tell if this is a screenshot from like one of the previous trailers. I don't think it is because these things in the background, I'm like almost sure I've never seen them before. To me, it almost looks like he's on the moon, which could be very crazy. I expect us to maybe see this in the season six event and that would make more sense. It also looks like he has a shoulder pad on that doesn't look like his usual suit. It looks more so like armor, which is very intriguing. And also he's shocked. He's looking at something, but we don't know what exactly he's looking at. Now, if we move further into the trailer, the images start to switch around and stuff. And like, for example, we can see this one right here, which I find really intriguing because it appears to be a brand new weapon. That's right. I don't think it's a skin or anything or like a pickaxe because you can see what looks to be the stock right here and then a little bit of the handle or uh, ammo or whatever. And then this part is obviously the barrel and stuff. Now it looks very unique, which means it could either be a brand new type of weapon or it could just be an exotic, which that too, we could see the return of exotic weapons inside of season six, which is a very likely possibility. And this could be one of those. On top of that, if you look in the bottom left of this part, you will see what again is Agent Jonesy. However, this appears to be from the season five trailer when he is talking on the phone. I guess I'm not 100% sure if it's a frame for that. It could be a frame from again, the season six event, which is just around the corner. As a reminder, if you haven't heard yet, they told us that the season five event is actually going to be at the start of season six. And it's going to be one that everybody can see as soon as you log into the game after downloading the brand new update. So it could be entirely possible that this is a scene from that event that they're just showing us early. I don't know why they'd show us a scene from the previous trailer, unless again, they're talking about the seven because they were talking about the seven during that part of the season five video, but I don't know. And also there are these things, which I really don't know. This is pretty mysterious. It could be a brand new structure on the map, but honestly, your guess is as good as mine. It could have to do with the seven. If there is a structure for the seven that they make, it kind of looks like a little bit like a spaceship, but again, it's just kind of pure 
pyramids. I don't know. So yeah, that one is definitely up in the air still. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Be sure to check out my brand new channel. It is the first link down. It is the first link down below in the description. Just posted a video of eliminating all of the bosses on the map. But also check out some of my previous videos here, such as going over info about the battle pass. But again, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.